Hello my friends and how y'all doing today? This is More Truth here and welcome to another video. So for today, we're going to be checking out the debut preview for the fourth generation of Hololive English and they are called Hollow Justice. Pretty crazy how I woke up to Hololive English announcing their new generation like right out of the blue. I totally didn't expect it was coming like right now, like seriously. <laughs> but at the same time, it really has been a long time since the third generation of Hololive English debuted Hollow Advent. They debuted like late July of 2023, so time really flew by so fast. So Hollow Justice consists of four VTubers and they'll be debuting later this week. So yeah, I'm excited to check out their debuts and as well as any upcoming covers and our original songs which i'll react to in a different video yeah i'm really so hyped right here i'm really hyped without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it all right alert breach detected yeah that was from the the hollow advent uh, teaser i remember that Special mission assigned. Okay, I really like her design right here. Undercover investigation, target. Five escape fugitives? And the team, justice. So they're trying to stop Hollow Advent from escaping. Okay. Oh, I like her design. All right, the Scarlet Queen, Elizabeth. I like the animations here too. We have the chaser, Gigi. I like the music too. And we have Raora. Okay. Ooh, a violinist. Ooh. We have Cecilia. Four white eyed angels descend to Earth to restore justice to the world. See, that's really cool animation. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm really liking all their designs though. Yeah, we are ready right here. Hall Life English. Justice. They have their own logo too in their debut dates. Catch us if you can. Catch us if you can. Dang, okay. That was the debut preview right here. Like, so much stuff was happening right here. And we saw some pretty cool animations. We got to see each and every one of the Justice members. I really do like the designs though. I, I really do. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a second watch. Give my first impressions on each of the members. Keep in mind that I did check out everybody's first tweets prior to doing this recording so i can share my thoughts on those as well so yeah here we go so you wait so you can see right here right you see shiori like just about to break the glass yeah after seeing that and then seeing a little description of justice is like okay all right so they're bringing justice to stop advent from escape because they broke out you know so that, that's pretty interesting I really like that touch right there in the in the the, the teaser. All right, so like starting off with her though, I'm like, okay, like she looks kind of badass though. Okay, I was like, okay, who is this? I need to know who she is though. I, I really do. <laughs> like the whole glowing blue uh, flame though. Undercover investigation. So yeah, after seeing five escape fugitives, I'm like, okay, yeah, they're talking about Hollow Advent right here. So they're here to stop Hollow Advent from wreaking, <laughs> wreaking a, um, chaos of some sort. Getting justice. So yeah, I, I really like this uh, feel so far. And then we have the team, Justice. All right, we're about to see each and every one of the members. So buckle your seatbelts. Okay, is this a good place to pause it? Yeah, I think so. She looks she looks pretty serious. So yeah, we'll we'll pause it right there. So we have um the Scarlet Queen, Elizabeth Rose Bloodflave. Yeah, we can get to hear their lines, but I, I do see like their their little catchphrase. So she says, Let my voice be your strength. And then we'll go ahead and look further into the description just to get more of a feel who Elizabeth is. So, the Scarlet Queen, Elizabeth Rose Bloodflame, paves the way for the world and all of its people. Not only does she stand at the forefront during missions with her own physical prowess, but she also captures the hearts of all around her with her beautiful singing voice. She is highly self-disciplined and a bit too hard on herself, but perhaps due to her culture's emphasis on 
politeness, and manners. She tends to go a bit soft on those around her. As a result, she spends her days stressed out with her work, coordinating justice, but it seems like there's nothing a nice nap in a comfy bed can't fix. So yeah, she definitely sounds like a workaholic right here. I feel like she's the one who leads justice. Yeah, I feel like she's like the head of justice right here. So yeah, I do see that Elizabeth is justice manager. Does not necessarily hold more power than the other three, which we'll learn about a little later. So when I saw in the description that she captures the hearts of all around her with her beautiful singing voice, I'm like, oh my gosh, is she Iris's long lost sister or something? I mean, that, that was like the vibe I got like right off the bat. Like she has like a similar kind of vibe with her outfit as Iris from um, Hello Promise. So I feel like she's definitely gonna blow me away with her singing. Like when she drops a cover or an original song, perhaps after her debut, or perhaps the group original song. I know that Hello Advent dropped a group original song after their debuts. So I have a feeling they'll do that as well. And perhaps any other individual covers or originals that come out. I really like her design though. I like the, is that like something on her head or some sort of, some sort of, I don't know. It's like some sort of head accessory. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, she, she's kind of cute though. Okay, now we have the chaser, Gigi Murren. All right, cool. Yeah, she's pretty cute though. I feel like she's gonna be the gremlin of the group. Like right off the bat, she, she, she gives me that gremlin energy, especially with that costume, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, her line is, huh? But it was funny. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I was trying to say it like, like a gremlin. <laughs> Let me know if I, if I did a somewhat impression of that. But anyways, going into her profile, it says, Born and raised under the flag of freedom, Gigi Murren is a free-spirited chaser and mischievous gremlin. Yeah, I, I called that. I definitely called that. While she is proficient in chasing down targets with pure intuition, she struggles with memorizing directions and making calculated decisions. She states that she'd rather not spend much time thinking because it makes her head hurt. Yeah, definitely gremlin energy right there. Like, <laughs> no thoughts, only GG. <laughs> These quirks are also present in her everyday life, where she tends to prioritize her instinctual craving for fun and being silly over anything else. She is often the source of headaches for those around her, causing trouble because she thought it would be funny. Yeah, I feel like she would be the comedian of the group, the gremlin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I really like her design though. She's pretty cute. She has that whole costume going on. It has a zipper as well. That's, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, I feel like she's gonna have like that chaotic energy going on. Kind of like Fuwamoko, I would say, from Hollow Advent. Or even Bibu from Hollow Advent as well. I don't know if she's gonna be as chaotic as Shiorin. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see about that. How unhinged she is when she does her content and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like she's definitely gonna have that gremlin energy. I guess more so like Mokoko, you know, I think I'm gonna enjoy her a lot too. I, I definitely am for sure And then the third girl Oh that wink though that wink Wow, all right, so we have the artist with the god eyes uh, let, let me see if I, if I could uh, read her name right. Raora Panthera. And her line is, Whoa, this place looks delicious. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it definitely feels like something she would say though. Yeah, her wink is really getting me. It's really taking me back to the first tweet that she made. I think it was like a photo of her thighs or something. The model's thighs. I'm like, whoa. Definitely your first impression if I do say so myself. And she's pretty gorgeous though. Like, I'll, I'll give her that. Like she really has that charm going on. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out her profile, shall we? The artist with the god eyes, Raora Panthera is endowed with investigative and descriptive prowess. Her meanings of information gather are diverse, utilizing not only her agility, and social skills, but also various social media platforms and other dot 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 unique methods. I don't know what unique methods you're talking about, but go off, I guess. <laughs> the facial composite she draws based on the information she gathers are renowned for their accuracy, almost as if she was looking directly at the criminals that she draws. However, these days her gaze is directed towards finding new pizza joints and enjoying the pop culture of the Far East. I feel like she'd be quite the culture one. Like, literally, look at her. I feel like she's gonna be pretty cultured and pretty based, you know? 
I feel that based on her description, she's gonna be the artist of the group. Kinda like with Holomith, they have Ina as the artist of the group. I feel like she's gonna be similar in, in that regard, you know? Like, I'm really curious of her art style though. It's like, yeah, if she ever lays her eye on you, she's never gonna forget that photographic memory of how you look like, so... That's pretty scary. <laughs> and the fact that it's God's eyes too, so... Don't, don't mess with her, she's definitely someone you don't want to mess with. She definitely left the first impression on me, 100%. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I said quite a bit about her. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, move on. And yeah, we got the last member here. I really like the violin though, it's like a really nice touch. Alright, we have the final member of Justice. We have the ancient automaton Cecilia Emmergreen. And her line is, I came up with a new melody, would you like to listen? When I looked at her shoulder, she kind of gives me a similar vibe as Herda from Honkai Star Rail, which I think is pretty pretty cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at her profile, shall we? Cecilia Emmergreen is an ancient automaton with a penchant of flowers, tea, and creating music. Crafted during ancient times, Cecilia was originally made to be dedicated to eternal servitude. Yet in recent times, she began slacking off on her work, lazily cooking mostly potatoes along with whatever else she found in the kitchen. She has now all but abandoned her duties, doing the bare minimum and mostly immersing herself in her various crafty hobbies. With newfound interest in life, she takes on every new experience with the pure curiosity of a young girl. I feel like she'll be the most chill person out of the whole group. I feel like she's gonna be a chill one. When I saw her playing the violin on the debut preview, I'm like, oh my god, she's definitely a musician. Like, sheesh. Like, she's definitely musically talented. Seeing that violin, it definitely reminded me of a YouTuber that I watch who goes by the name of Hiragi Emery. And she's pretty talented when it comes to the violin. And I really like her smile too. She's, she's pretty cute though. And the fact about doing the bare minimum, I'm like, yeah, she's just like me for real. <laughs> But yeah, she has like some crafty hobbies as well. So I'm pretty interested to see more about what she can do in terms of crafting and like art and everything like that. So yeah, she's, she's a pretty interesting one for me for sure. She claims to say that she's human. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely take her word for that. <laughs> All right, moving on. Yeah, four wide-eyed agents descend from Earth to restore justice to the world. See, look at the animation, that's so cool though. See that wink though. And then that whole weapon that she was holding though. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna wait till, yeah, the, the logo is really cool and I'm gonna pause it right there. Yeah, look at that weapon that Elizabeth is holding. I'm like, she's just quite the sword right there. And then you can see that Cecilia is holding a lance. And then you can also see that Gigi has like some sort of like iron fist. And then of course, Raora has her god's eyes. It's like, I don't know, maybe she has some psychic powers or something. I mean, she, she kind of scares me a little bit, <laughs> for real. And you can see right here, we have the debut date, uh, June 21st, 2024, PDT. That's when their mission starts. So that's when they'll be debuting. Elizabeth and Gigi debut on June 21st. And then we'll have Cecilia and... Well, Aura debut on June 22nd. So yeah, that's like pretty much the weekend, like this weekend right here. Yeah, we get to learn a bit more about uh, each of the Hollow Justice members. And I could go ahead and read the rest of the, the main description of uh, Hollow Justice. Justice has been given but one mission, to bring justice to the world. They are a group of rowdy troublemakers who work on the fringes of an uptight strike organization. Elizabeth Rose Blood Flame is Justice Manager, but she does not necessarily hold more power than the other three. Gigi Murren, Cecilia Immergree, and Raora Panthera. They are currently on a mission related to a recent prison break from the cell and seem to have loose connections with the escapees. And yeah, they're talking about Hollow Advent right there, which we saw in their debut teaser, they were escaping. So yeah, that's pretty much the Hollow Justice connection with Hollow Advent. Really excited to check out all their debuts and as well as their music. Catch us if you can. Yeah, that's Hollow Advent right there. <laughs> And that, my friends, was the debut preview for Hollow Justice, the fourth generation of Hollow Live English. Yeah, I can't believe it's been almost 11 months ago, ever since their previous generation, Hollow Advent, debuted. I'm glad that Hollow Advent were given plenty of time to grow, to get the spotlight, because I definitely enjoy Hollow Advent for sure. I, I definitely enjoy watching them. And now we have Hollow Justice. I forgot to mention that on the tweet that I woke up to from Hollow Live English, it says onward and upwards in it. So I don't know if they're gonna be 
be British VTubers or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been seeing on Twitter. Like, yeah, they're British. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to see when we check out their debuts if they have like a British accent uh, or some sort. It, it would be awesome. But yeah, with the debut preview, it was pretty cool that we got to see these different animations. We get more of an idea of how Hollow Justice have connections with Hollow Advent in terms of the lore. It's like, yeah, Hollow Advent, they broke out of the cell. And now we have Hollow Justice who are gonna go ahead and chase after Hollow Advent and stop them. <laughs> and it was cool to see the four members of Justice. We get to see their designs. And I went ahead and read up their profile to get more of a feel of who they are. They'll be debuting this weekend. It'll be a two day program. We have two members debuting on the 21st and then two members debuting on the 22nd. And I'm excited to check out their debuts and as well as any original songs or covers or even like a group original song comes out so i'll be sure to stay tuned for that feel free to share your thoughts below in the comments what you thought of this debut preview right here of hollow justice let me know who you're most excited for any easter eggs that i may have missed as i checked out the debut preview but yeah i'm excited to learn more about hollow justice and get to know each and every one of their members if you enjoyed this reaction feel free to leave it a like subscribe for more if you have not already and turn on the notification bell so you can stay notified on my future content and with that said this is more truth you take care you have a great rest of your day or evening and let the morals be with you